Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is David from Dave Den Web Dev, and in today's video, we'll be looking at another Elementor tutorial where we have this loop grid and we want to show a list of terms that are shown by their images. So let's say we have this recipe. For this recipe, we have that it has dairy and it has gluten free. Then the other one, it's mixing, it has low carbs and it's gluten free. So these are all taxonomy terms. I want to show those terms as images on our loop grid. So if that's something that interests you, then stick around and we'll go right into it. Following on from a previous video where I showed how to create a recipe menu list, I created this custom post type called recipes. So in this video, I added this taxonomy called recipe labels. And basically the key is recipe dash label. You have to remember that. Then I added some meta fields to it. So field groups, recipe label fields that is attached to the taxonomy. And I only added this image meta field. That's what is used to display that image for each taxonomy. And the key is called recipe underscore label underscore image. So those are the two things we need to remember because we'll be using it in our code. So now let me go ahead and show you the code I'm using. So I'm using WP code box in this example, but you can use any code snippets plugin you like, or just add it directly to your functions or PHP file. And this is basically the code. I will leave a link to it in the description below so you can check it out. And all we need from this code is these four items. So we need to remember, know what is the taxonomy name, the field name. This block class is the class name we're going to be using to style it. And then do we want it to be linked or not? So now let me go over to the loop grid and show you how to add this into the loop grid. So go there. Let me, this is the image wrapper. So add a short code widget into that wrapper. So click on the plus sign. And then I'll just add a short code widget, then paste that short code here. So now the, the things we need to change are first the taxonomy name. So let's go back. The taxonomy was called recipe label. So let me copy that and just put it into this quote. So that's the first one. Then the second one is the field. We go to the field groups, recipe label, just copy that field name. Does it here? And right away we already get this. So the next thing we want to do is add in a class name that we're going to use for styling it. So for this one, I'll just say probably something like recipe categories or category. So that's the class name. Then the finally, do I want it to be linked? Just put yes. And let me get rid of this space here. So now all of them are added successfully. The next thing we need to do now is style it. This class name recipe category is for each of the individual items, but for the, because we're using UL LI tags. So for the UL itself, is called recipe category then to have dash group. So that's just it. Just know that the name here, just add a dash group to it. So custom CSS, so say dot recipe category dash group. So now let's get rid of the bullet points. So I'll say list style should be none. Then any extra spacing. So padding zero margin zero. Then the next thing I want to do now is make them to be in line. So I'll use display flex for that. So display flex, I'll give it a bit of gap. So gap, so maybe one rem. Uh, then let me make it centered. So first give it a width of 100% just to be sure. And I'll say justify content should be center, align items should be center. So that's making it centered. 
Then finally, right now it's occupying space. We want it to be basically just directly underneath the image. So I can just use absolute positioning for that. So I'll just go and say position absolute. It will be absolutely positioned to the image container. That's why I added the wrapper container for the image and the shortcode. So position absolute. And then say bottom, because I want to be at the bottom of the image, so zero. And we've gotten it already. And let me publish it. And we can now preview it on the front end. So there's, this was from the previous tutorial. Now in this tutorial, you see, we get our image. We get these that are absolutely positioned to the bottom of the image. For the tooltip, I actually used TPJS, and I showed how to do that in a previous video. So I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Basically, just using TPJS to add in our tooltip because right now, since they are just images, they are hard to define because you cannot really define what this image is all about without having some form of description. So that's why we're creating a description for that tooltip. But it's not going to be in the code. But I'll leave a link to a previous tutorial where I showed how to do that using the pricing list widget. So it's basically the same idea. And yeah, thanks for watching. If this video has helped you, please leave a like, share the video, write in the comment section that you actually liked the video. And then if you have any topic that you want me to cover in my next video or you have some improvement in the way I put the video across, please leave it in the comment section below. And finally, please let me know in the comment section which builder you want me to focus on in my videos. If it's Elementor, if it's Gutenberg, Generate Press, if it's Breakdance, anything, please leave in the comment section below which builder you prefer me to cover in my videos and I will look into it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.